If your survey data doesn't have the ability to set out a road, then point numbers have to be generated along your alignment string. Before we do this, however, we just need to work out what the plot scale of the data is going to be so that when we draw the point numbers, they come up in an appropriate size. And the easiest way to do this is to just put a plot frame around it and adjust the scale until it's the size we need. So we can either go to plot, plot frames create, or alternatively, you can click on the create plot frame in the plotting toolbars. We want to select our toolbar and it's under our user library and it'll be called training A3 plan. We can select that. In the scale, we'll just type in a scale of 1000 to get started and our origin will just pick a point somewhere down the left hand bottom of the screen. We don't want to use this viewport border so we can turn that off and inside the model if you just put a comma 1 it'll automatically draw this model on side view number 1 so we can click on create if I just zoom all now you'll notice that our plot frame is way too big so we'll change our plot scale from 1000 to 500 and hit set and that looks a better size and we'll just adjust the position of it using translate to fit as much as possible inside our plot frame. In order to generate point numbers along an alignment string we need to create what's known as a special change file and this is just a list of changes along the alignment string at all the tangent points and at regular intervals. So from the roading toolbar we come out to special change file you have to firstly select your reference string which is our road center line and at the top we want to change our data source from special changes to alignment string curve we want to tick on add IPs and tangents and we want our special changes every 10 meters along the straights and every 5 meters along the curves we can then just click on add to list you can see that 12D then draws a little circle at each of the points along the string. If we click on view list, we'll get a list of all of those changes. Now, we have no vertical geometry before 12.673, so we can just delete those first two lines. And we also have no vertical geometry after change 114.644, so we can delete those two as well and click on set. We then have to give it a special change file name and we'll just call this road3 and hit enter and click on write and that file will then be written. All it is is a text file with all those changes in it. We can finish on that. To create the actual point numbers we're going to go into the set out toolbar and select the option create set out point numbers. This is one of many options that we could use to create the point numbers. Before we create them, we just want to set up how they're going to look. So we go into Options. We're going to tick on Draw a Link to Set Out to Label and use the highest point number. We'll also change the color from blue to red. And we'll change our model from Set Out to Set Out Roads. And the textile we're going to use, we'll just select this option here. Contour label 1 is to 500. So it's basically just a world units textile with a scale of 1 is to 500, which is what we had our plot scale set at. Now to create the set out points themselves, we go back into the create points tab. Just change your starting point number from 2 to 1. And our data source we're going to leave at string. So we pick the string to label. We pick our alignment string. It automatically pops up a panel asking how often we want to label it rather than doing it by number or by distance or by quarter points or number along an arc we're going to use the special change file we previously created so we select that then we select our road 3 special change file click on set and finish and select label 12d will then turn on those points and you'll see that they will be corresponding to each of the circles that were created in the special change file. 
as the text was automatically created, sometimes it overlaps. So we may have to move some of these labels. So we can go into Edit Points. We can then click on Auto and Pick and we'll move point number three. So we actually pick at the point and keep picking until the numbers highlight and accept it. We can then click on the new location where we would like to put the point and accept that. We can now click next and move along our string or alternatively we can just zoom to where we have another problem and we can click on auto pick pick on the point, keep picking till the numbers highlight and then just move it into the position that we like. And you'll notice that the link back to the point will remain active. We've now finished with our point numbers so we can click on finish on this panel.